I'm not saying it's a, a good enough reason to ghost someone. I'm, I'm just saying that's why it happened. You know, you're gonna make, meet these conversational cowards and they'll ghost you. So a conversation is like tennis. You either got ghosted because the value you're providing in the interaction dropped somehow, or the other person the, like perceived it to drop. So it could be their issue or it could be yours. And it's up to you to figure that out. Oh, I'm not saying it's a, a good enough reason to ghost someone. I'm, I'm just saying that's why it happened. Like, <clears throat> for some reason, the other person decided you weren't valuable or they didn't enjoy this thing. And so they'd rather do other things. They'd rather not get back to you. They'd rather not reply. They'd rather avoid hard conversations. Like, it's just not valuable to them. Um, I'm not saying it's good. Like, it's probably a, a bad reason. It's like, I don't ghost people. So I, like, I couldn't, you know. He probably saw Catherine's response and was like, oh, she's not, she's not athletic, not for me. And then rather than have a hard conversation or rather than reject someone, they'd rather just put their attention elsewhere. So they do. And so like there's plenty of people on the planet who avoid conversations or make sure they never reject someone verbally. A lot of people have issues with that. They like can't reject someone verbally. They don't know how to communicate it. They can't do it. They've never done it. They hate doing it. They avoid all confrontation. They're giant I don't know, like I, I'd love to snap my fingers and make everyone in the world not a but you know, you're gonna make, meet these conversational cowards and they'll ghost you. Um, but I don't know if that explains it or helps because the reason still is because you you, you became less valuable to them somehow, or you're still super valuable, but they perceive you're not valuable. And either way, when they detect that, that made up or real drop in value, they know they have to put their attention elsewhere. They could do it in a classy way, in a courageous way, in a bold way, and speak the truth honestly and end the communication. Or they could do it in a coward way and just bounce. Uh, I don't know, it's that simple. Yes, relationships are a value exchange and it starts from the very first interaction or even the very first non-interaction, like just you becoming aware of some other human. Then you begin a relationship with them, whether they know it or anyone knows it or not. Like, now you know they exist. So now you're they're either becoming more valuable as time goes on to you or they're becoming less. Sure, but it's not, it doesn't mean you're not valuable. You're not valuable to this particular human, but there's like seven, eight billion people on the planet. Uh, and so like, you might not be valuable to the outdoors guy and he rejects you, but you're super valuable to the bookworm guy who never wants to go outdoors and it's perfect. So yes, everything's a value exchange, but having someone declare you unvaluable with their rejection or whatever isn't that's not a big deal you should actually be thankful because you don't want to waste your time or theirs in this giant value pit right if you're not a fit be, be happy someone goes to you because it's like yes i don't want a coward i don't want someone who can't handle a conversation i don't want someone who uh, can't see my value or thinks i'm not valuable like it's perfect i just dodged a bullet and uh let me get ghosted by more. Like, let me dodge as many bullets as possible so I can find the, the one who doesn't ghost. So a conversation is like word tennis. And it's more of like a friendly game of tennis, like where you're trying to rally, you're trying to keep the ball going back and forth. You're not trying to blow each other out of the water or something or off the court. So. I serve up the ball to you in a, a pleasant way and you hit it back to me and I hit it back to you and it almost goes out of bounds but we save it and so this is a, a good conversation right each party volleying back and forth and so if you message someone and they message you back great the, the match is on conversation is going if you message someone and they don't message you back ever the match is over 
But unlike tennis, in in conversation, there can be a, a long delay or a lag time uh, between responses, between hitbacks. So, so how do you decide if the match has ended if there's a long time in between? Like you send a message and you don't get one back for three days. Is that too long? Is it too short? Or you don't get one back for five days or seven days? Is that too long? Is it too short? Right? And this is where the uncertainty comes in. People feel uncomfortable because I've been hitting the ball and it's been going well and now, right? But there's an easy way to, to find out. You know, like if Veronica is hitting the ball to Max and it's Max's turn, uh, if Max suddenly doesn't respond, he doesn't hit back in the combo, then Veronica can do a couple things. One, she can assume the match is over, call it a day. Oh well, like, that sucked. She can panic, try to hit the ball for Max. You can see some obsessive people do this, right? Like you're clearly being ghosted. It's like, hey, you know, I, I found this and I saw this and they send a link and they send a new meme and they try to get your attention again and again. And it's like, why are you hitting the ball to yourself? Like it's Max's turn. If they just had the discipline to like let things be and see how the match plays out, they'd be, they'd be fine. They could figure it out. But instead they sort of artificially keep it going. They're sort of playing tennis with themselves. And uh, yeah, that's that's another way to approach it. But the, my preferred way is to check if my tennis partner is okay, right? In the conversation, like, did, did I traumatize you? Did I say something wrong? Are you okay? Did I disrespect you? Like, just check, do one final check before you assume you're being ghosted, before you assume the match is over. So it can take lots of forms. I just gave a few examples, but a, a good one is, is everything okay? Or are you okay? Because they could be in the hospital. They could have gotten in a car accident. Their phone could be smashed. Their brother could have thrown it in the toilet. It could be anything. You know, a family member could have passed. They got distracted. So to make sure that the match isn't just over for nothing or to make sure that your, your partner the, you're interacting with isn't in trouble, you do a, dis, a like a respectful, kind, is everything okay? And so then the ball's in their court. You've served it to them, served it back, forth, back, forth. Now it's in their court. You like run over and check if your player is okay. Maybe they're on the ground injured or something. You're like, are you okay? And if they aren't okay, they'll explain. Like they'll ask for help. Like, yeah, I hurt my leg or I need, oh, I didn't like how you served that one or whatever. Like it's their chance to, to respond and keep the conversation going, even if it's sort of a different conversation now or they can be silent still continue to be silent continue to not respond continue to not hit the ball back and if they do that uh then the match is 100 percent over right then you know oh i'm ghosted i see uh so the power to find out if you're ghosted is kind of in your hand and it's really as simple as an extra one extra message So I see conversation as an art and like any art, it's one I love mastering. Uh, I want to be the best at conversation. I don't know if I am, like I'm sure there's someone out there who's better, but I'm really good. And I've helped lots of people improve their social interaction, improve how they talk to the opposite sex, the same sex, elders, employers. I've helped so many. Uh, it's not like a service I just go out there and market. Like I don't position myself as a dating coach or relationship coach, but I'm really good at this. So if you want help with it, check out the link in the description, jrise.me slash sessions. And it's my weekly Q and A and you can ask anything like nothing's off limits. So it'd be a great way to get more help with this. Either way, wishing you great interactions with minimal ghosting.